G'day, welcome back to Project Brewpig, the story of a sunken fishing trawler converting into a global expedition and research boat. This episode we're carrying on with our wings. Last one you saw us get the skin on the first of two wings. Today we've perfected our system and we're going to get stuck into wing number two. We're just at the scrapyard and we found this rudder off a trawler and it was attached to the bottom half of a trawler. You can see the um, steering rams there. Um, we were just checking it out whether there's anything we can salvage off it. But it's uh, pretty awesome to see it cut out like that. And picked up this, it's a TIG torch for our um, Unimig um, welder. So yeah, that's going to give us the ability to weld stainless really nicely. Um, Dame's actually been talking about this since we brought the boat <laughs> five years ago. So it's kind of a momentous moment for Dame. any margin for error. Really? We have to get it perfect. Really? Yeah. That's funny. Serious? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Some may call it confidence. Others wouldn't. Maybe you should uh, double check. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, the reason I haven't welded it now is because I want this plate to tuck right up into it. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it, yeah. and you'll do it over the yeah. top, yeah. yeah. I just, I was thinking, I don't trust that little tack. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a sad little tack. Let's do the front edge like we did last time, line the front edge up, tack it, uh, and then pull it down. You know, how, you know it's curved, yeah. it's curved like that. Yeah. If we flatten that out, yeah. that should touch that, well, that let's, side. Let's do that now. Just Good. That's pretty close. It'll do. It's too high though. It's there too. It stays off. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, it's it's riding up, up it, eh? Yeah. Alright, well, let's just mark it and we'll grind a little clearance. <laughs> just going forward back, forward back. Yeah, yeah, back. yeah, lift this up. This yeah, yeah. Stack on mm. I'll just do another mill, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's how's, how I want it. How's that way now? Perfect. Looking. We did a supply run into town this morning and we got some steel. This blue stuff here, that's going to become the arms that link the wings onto the hull. 
you look at how thick this stuff is it's a five mil wall thickness so it's 50 by 50 or two inch by two inch and five mil so slightly less than quarter inch don't know what that is five mil six mil is quarter inch i don't know what this is slightly less but what we do is we link three of them together like this so you can sort of see that's going to be the essentially the width of the main part of the the uh the arm we weld all of those together and the reason we do it that way is when you link them up if i move those close like that you can see you've got 10 mil of wall thickness in here when you put another one over here you've got another 10 mil so you've got sort of five ten ten five in terms of vertical um, strengthening so it makes the arms really sort of rigid in that dimension but also only 50 mil wide so quite aerodynamic in terms of water we will weld on a half round on the front and then on the back of the you know there's going to be another one back here but on the back of it we're going to do a three inch um three inch uh, what is it three inch by eighth of an inch so we're going to do a sort of a triangle shape so two two three inch pieces welded in like that so it will be a um, an aerofoil sort of shape and that's going to be um, going through the water in that sort of yeah that orientation we also found this lovely big bit of pipe this stonking great heavy wall pipe is going to become the um the end of our arm so our pin is going to go through here so we have to ream this out slightly it's about um, half a millimeter too small so it's very very close but we're going to just um cut it to size and then ream it and that's going to end up being um, yeah the, the end that we need so it's not hugely thick in this dimension but because there's so much length that's going to be taking the strain it'll be okay back to the wings what we need to do now now that we've got them on um, mounted where it roughly needs to be we can start marking out so I'm going to go through and buff this first just so I've got a clean surface but we'll start marking it out just like we did with this wing over here so that we can get these um, slots drilled then cut and then we can start fitting this one properly and weld it on We'll also, now that I've got it to this stage, we'll also be able to um, do the alignment that comes across in this direction here. So where the, the two um, plates of steel meet, we have to trim off the front and back edges in order to get them to be a nice um, join all the way, even join all the way across. Now that we've got holes basically running down those beams, we need to link them up with the grinder. So we just use a one mil cutoff disc again and we'll just um, create that as a slot. But before we get too far up further with that, we're gonna fit this one here and make sure that we can get that center join um, lining up and snugly between the two. So we end up with, like we did here, it's only like a one mil gap or whatever it was all the way down. Make it super easy to weld and a nice tight finish. Are you right there? Right on the edge of the... Yeah, it's cool because the pen's, the pen's yeah, over yeah. a bit. You need a thin pen really for this work, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Let's give that a trim and um, should be able to fit this one up. So we've got our line marked out. A wee bit hard to see in the sun. But right the way down there, there is a little pen mark. We're going to go and trim now and that'll allow us to start sliding this panel here up the wing and then get it into the right spot. Get in there. Right, so we tacked on. We just have to go through now and do what we did on that um, skin down the end. We need to mark out and drill the holes and then cut both skins off so we can cut the slots. And then we're ready to start cleaning this up, give it a good grind, and then we'll get into um, fully welding this on. 
Dame took a couple of minutes to plasma out a fitting in an old bear keg we had to make a uh, more robust water sump for the gully. So the stainless keg that you saw me weld the hose tail onto the side, it's a gadget that I made so that we could actually get rid of wastewater on the yard here without it causing any issues under the boat. This is it here, so basically the way that it works, wastewater from the boat goes down this black pipe and then from there drops down randomly inside the keg, it's about half full and then you can see there's a black pipe coming off the side there and that's about halfway, if I come back a bit, that's about halfway up the side of the keg, you can sort of see there about maybe I don't know, eight inches up from the bottom and that black pipe goes off to a drain so it's a big inch and a half diameter pipe but the way that the beauty of this whole thing is that because the pipe isn't at the bottom because it's halfway up um, anything that goes down the drain like any coffee grinds or food or anything like that anything heavy basically sinks to the bottom of that drum and then every three months I just empty it out and it's pretty much only water that goes down that pipe um, so it's a great way for us to keep the yard clean um, and then pipe it off to a drain down the back end of the boat. We did a bit of a clean up, I'm getting ready to move parts and tools into the boat, ready for our slow launch. Bennett Heads where we're located has been inundated with these amazing butterflies and Trevor dropped in to say hello and see how we're getting on. Yeah, I didn't know what day it was so as soon as I found out it was the third Saturday of the month I thought I'd better go and have a shower then. <laughs> Away, you. <laughs> you know you've, you've really graduated know. your apprenticeship when you get the instructions and you throw them away. Yeah. <laughs> so what gas goes in this? Argon only. Right, that's that set up. Gosh, feel how light that trigger is. I need to do a little bit of practice just on a bit of scrap stainless or something. And well, what better than shoes you saw? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll match the boat. <laughs> So that really didn't help. That kind of snapped off quite quite lovely, so we're gonna fix that. We just woke up, about to have a shower, get ready for the day, and we saw this. Look at that sunrise. Isn't that just awesome? So we had a front roll through last night, it wasn't very big, it was only a little one, but it was enough to throw a bit of rain around so this morning the work area is pretty wet. So to see over in the background there everything's basically dark from water so 
This morning's job, we've got a big um, canvas tarpaulin on the front end of the boat, we're ripping that off. We're gonna string it out from the back of the boat, out, maybe tie it onto the ute, etc. so that we've got a, at least a bit of a roof for when it drizzles and things, it's gonna carry on all day. So, first job, make the workplace dry. Alright, now that the workshop of doom has been fully constructed, it's certified as fully sick, we're going to get into these wings. Right, so with the water out, it's obviously a little bit damp still, but we'll go through and won't matter what we're going to do. We need to go and grind the tops of all of these ribs, and then also this flat, 100mm um, flat at the back here. So I want to have it shiny steel so that I can weld, um, just like I did when I did this wing here. So we'll go through and do that now, and then um, move the steel across to the other side and then do that end of the wing. I'll also grind up the plate as well on either end so that we can get a nice, we uh, nice weld onto that. Yeah, start moving into it. So now that we've got the slots welded on both skins for that wing, um, I'll give the welder a bit of time um, just to get it back into its duty cycle and let it uh, cool down a little bit. I'll go up and have some food. When we come back, we'll go and um, weld around the, uh, the edges and get this thing watertight. There we have it, two wings welded. So that wing's basically fully welded on that one side, and so is that wing over there. What I need to go through now and just uh, get a flapper and just sort of clean up any lumps and bumps that I'm not happy with. Um, overall, most of these welds won't really get touched, but it's just a clean up that I need to do on them. So thanks for watching. Um, it's been awesome to get the wings to this stage. We're about to get the forklift in and flip them up. 
so we'll start welding on the 6mm side, get those plates um, fully sealed up and we'll be able to start pressure testing those wings soon. And then we've got the welder booked in um, for a few days time and we're going to get the um, hinges welded onto the side so the wind, the, literally the wings will be welded onto the side of the boat at that stage. You got ice like summer sky, if it's my good kill I die. And now it starts to rain so let's enjoy it. I can't 